Howdy y'all. Today, we're gonna look at something new and a little different for this channel. The Playmobil Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine Van Adult Collectible Set. If you've watched this show, then you know I'm a huge fan of vans. I've got my 1999 Ford E350 Jedi Van. I have the infamous 1977 Dodge Bat Van. And of course, there's the 1976 Chevy Van that I gave Kook for her 16th birthday. You can see that episode by clicking the link on your screen. We also decorated that van as the mystery machine for Halloween one year, when Logan, Kook, Jess, and myself dressed up as Mystery Incorporated. And Mystery Incorporated brings us full circle to the topic of today's episode of Jedi TV. I recently saw an ad on Instagram for a new collectible set featuring Mystery Incorporated and the mystery machine. Needless to say, I had to have it in my toy collection. Playmobil's website has the Mystery Machine set listed as a pre-order, available May 1st of 2020. But I was recently in a Walmart looking for new Nerf blasters and found the Mystery Machine and the Scooby Shaggy set on the shelf. The cost for the Mystery Machine is $49.99 and the set requires a bit of assembly. Most of the assembly is pretty basic. Snapping on side view mirrors and assembling seats is all pretty simple. Snapping the monster monitor into place is also very simple, and it's a pretty neat accessory that lights up and includes various slides that can be put into place and viewed. Underneath the monster monitor is this, um, I'm really not sure what this is. Maybe some sort of Ghostbusters plasma gun? Let me know what you think it is or what you'd use it for down in the comment section of this video. Also on the rear of the van is a hitch I don't know if this is compatible with any other current Playmobil sets or if they have plans for a mystery machine camper in the future, but FYI, it's there. There are also two stickers that need to be applied to the rear doors of the mystery machine in addition to the front license plate sticker. Final assembly of the van includes luggage racks, antenna, and wheels and tires. Once assembly of the van is complete, it's time to snap together the accessories and assemble the gang. And each member of the Mystery Incorporated team comes with their own personal Playmobil sticker. The good. The van and characters look very screen accurate and Playmobil has thought out the usability of the characters and all of their accessories. The included accessories offer plenty of different ways to display or play with the Mystery Incorporated team. These accessories include everything from flashlights and magnifying glasses to maps and a GPS. And of course, there's plenty of snacks, including Scooby Snacks. The removable windshield and roof make it easy to get the characters in and out of the van. Then, once they are seated comfortably, snap the van back together and send it cruising down the road. The bad. You might have noticed that the $50 mystery machine only comes with a little over half of the gang. Fred, Daphne, and Velma are included with the mystery machine. But, if you want Scooby and Shaggy, and really, who wouldn't? You have to shell out another $12 or $13 for a separate set. This separate set includes both Shaggy and Scooby, some more accessories, and a ghost character. Also on my list of frustrations is the fact that the entire van is painted up with the logo and classic Mystery Machine theme, except the back doors, 
which require the user to apply decals. And if you've ever assembled toys like this, you know that these decals can be difficult to apply. My opinion. All things considered, I'm really happy with this purchase. I think the set has great playability as well as displayability. And the Playmobil Mystery Incorporated team will make an excellent addition to my toy museum. I like that the characters can easily interact with the accessories, making it easy to change the display or just more fun for kids or kids at heart to play with. So that's the good, the bad, and my opinion of the Playmobil Mystery Incorporated Mystery Machine playset. If you like this episode of Jedi TV, please be sure to give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button. That small action by you increases the odds of this episode being seen by other folks searching YouTube for this topic. If you know someone who might be interested in this playset, please share a link to this episode with them. Of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to Jedi TV so you don't miss out on any of my time traveling adventures. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. Let's go play.